On August the 8th, 2023, dry conditions sparked multiple wildfires in Maui and rapidly spread with the aid of hurricane strength winds. One of these fires was sparked near the historical town of Lahaina. In only a matter of hours, this fire decimated the town, ravaging thousands of homes and businesses with no time to react. It has destroyed historical landmarks critical to our island's history, our culture, and identity, and upended the lives of the town's 13,000 residents. It has killed over 100 people and become the deadliest wildfire the U.S. has ever seen in over a century, and is perhaps the worst disaster in our state's history. Lahaina was the capital of Hawaii in the 1800s. It was rich of Hawaiian kingdom history. Waiolo Church was the first Christian church ever established on Maui. The bodies of several Hawaiian monarchs and ali'i are buried there, including King Kamehameha I's highest ranking wife, Queen Keopualani, and also the last king of Kauai, King Kamuali. The Baldwin Home, the oldest standing house on Maui that once was a missionary compound in 1834. These sites alongside the old Lahaina Courthouse, the Heritage Museum, and countless artifacts have now been reduced to rubble and ash. Key parts of our history, the history of the kingdom, now forever lost to time. Alongside all of the places lost in this fire is King Kamehameha III Elementary School. This is a school dating all the way back to 1913, and it was home to hundreds of elementary age students. Three other schools in the region still remain closed, and the total extent of this damage is still entirely unknown. Could you imagine being in these student shoes? Within only a few days of this school year starting, students just like you and me have lost their homes, their community, a place to learn, everything to them. They can't even have some semblance of normalcy or comfort by attending school, seeing their friends or their teachers. Some have even had to transfer to other schools or leave their island home entirely just to be able to continue their education in the midst of all this suffering. Thousands of people have lost their homes and many still don't know if their friends, family or community members are still alive. There's a hundred and six confirmed fatalities and over a thousand people still missing. Our Kapuna, our families, our community, has suffered a great loss of history and family and their way of living. I mean, it's natural for us to be frustrated and be angry over this, but we can't allow us ourselves to be angry at each other. As a community, we need to help each other to mourn, to grieve, and to rebuild. In the aftermath of the fires, these stories are pouring out of Lahaina and all areas of Maui. And no matter whether you have a deep connection with the people there, or if you feel indifferent because you aren't affected by it personally, this is something all of us need to pay attention to. This isn't an abstract disaster far from home. This is here in our islands with people just like us. Students, faculty, staff, parents, guardians who have lost their home, their work, their school. Just imagine the feeling of loss, of the pain of having everything you know and love taken from you all in an instant. Have, and having nowhere to go. This is one of the greatest disasters Hawaii has ever faced in its history. And we can't allow ourselves to sit idle as our people struggle to pick up the pieces. It's time for us to do something. We can help through several donation drives that are open to any and all donations. Here are some of the drives. The Hilo High Drive, which is located in the Student Activities Room, A16, until the end of this week. They're accepting hygiene bags, bags for students affected by the fires, and gift cards. There is a Hawaii Youth Commission Drive at Waikea High School student parking lot where you can donate large items and is open on August 19th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Red Cross is accepting monetary donations to support their aid efforts. All volunteer work and donations are welcome and encouraged to help, whether it be now or in the future. Horrible events like these are when we need to band together and help our community, not be against them. We as a community need to stay strong and persevere through the hardships and give our helping hands to those in times of suffering, loss, grief, and anger. Because you can take away people's homes and livelihoods, but you can never take our aloha and our love for each other. You cannot take our sense of responsibility for our people and the communities no matter what. This is what's going to help us pick up the pieces from this horrible tragedy and will help people heal. And that is why it is so important that we at Hilo High School step up now and into the future 
to show our support in this difficult time.